Hey Taurus, happy birthday, happy Taurus season. Um, I am so happy to be back after such a long break that I took Taurus, so I'm happy to be doing your reading first. It is your season, so I'm wishing you all a great Taurus season. Please be sure to comment your birthdays down below, represent for Taurus season, and let us all know what you're doing for your birthday. All right, Taurus, so let's get started. I know I've been gone for a while, so if you are a subscriber of mine, thank you so much uh, for all your support and asking me if I'm okay. I have been okay, and I'm very happy to be back and doing May, which is also my birthday month, but I'm a Gemini, so I'm really excited to do these May readings. So let's get started, Taurus. Um, this reading is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, okay? Um, please check your Moon and Rising Sign as well to see um, what messages you can receive from that reading as well all right Taurus so I've already uh, shuffled your deck here so we're gonna get started the first card is gonna represent your overall energy here in the month of May and that is the king of Pentacles and I apologize for the lighting it will get better once I put all the cards down uh, this energy that is challenging you in the month of May you have the strength card the energy that you don't see coming in the month of May is the Queen of Wands, the Lovers, and the Three of Cups. Okay, Taurus. A lot of celebration happening with you, a lot of loved ones. I feel like this is going to be a month of strengthening relationships in your life. Um, specifically, could be with the Fire Sign. I am getting Leo here, so some of you may be dealing with the Leo. You don't have to be, but um, this could also, you know, this is in the energy that you don't see coming. So a lot of you could be focused on your finances, um, focus on your goals, focus on accomplishing something. And then unexpectedly, um, someone comes back into your life or there's some sort of reconciliation here. Or um, you may, if you're single and you don't have someone specific from the past coming back to your life, um, this could talk about meeting someone um, around your birthday okay so I see like things coming together people that you love coming together you know gathering for celebrations of course and uh, possibly a love connection here as well for you and very strongly could be a fire sign okay and then the outcome for you Taurus you have the nine of wands ace of cups new love opportunities and the knight of pentacles okay so Bottom of your deck, you have the Seven of Cups. So what I'm seeing here for you, Taurus, is that there's some sort of love offer that's coming in for you in the month of May, um, if it hasn't already. I feel like a lot of you were not expecting to receive this love offer. Many of you kind of either have made up your minds or you're very focused on something that you want to accomplish. I see here the Pentacle, which is representing something in... The 3d world that you're trying to manifest and for some of you you may find this this love connection as distracting possibly um, could possibly be uh, distracting you from your goals or something that you want to achieve you understand it's gonna take um, a lot of time and and energy to accomplish what you want and I feel like you don't want to be distracted so with this nine of wands energy, I'm kind of getting that this is someone that you may already know who could be coming back into your life, Taurus. You seem a little hesitant or um, leery in a way, like maybe you're not. There's this energy of not really either trusting this new beginning of love um, or something very hesitant about you wanting to accept it. Like there's this hesitancy to want to bring love into your life right now so many of you are single and you weren't expecting to be in a relationship or you weren't expecting to have your feelings kind of stirred up many of you don't want your feelings to be stirred up a lot of you could have been coming out of a situation from your past here with the nine of wands um that you you know you were working on getting over someone or some experience that you had in the past right you you are healing from that and it's almost as if once you you've finally became focused on what it is that you want to do you kind of left that bad experience or you know bad relationship in the past 
And once you finally started to move forward, all of a sudden, again, another opportunity in love is coming back around. Okay. And this again, could be someone that you already know. Um, this could be another earth sign like yourself, even though I feel like this is your energy here, kind of very focused on your mission and something you want to accomplish. And, and I feel as if love somehow feels like a distraction to you. Okay. So that may resonate with, um, some of you, some of you may, um, be turning your back on love. Some of you may want the love opportunity, but I, I feel as if you're very hesitant about accepting it. And it could be for many different reasons for some of you Tauruses. Okay, what's challenging you here is strength. So again, as I said before, some of you may have, you know, taken a long time to work on yourself, to build this inner strength that now you're starting to show others with this Queen of Wands. You know, you're, you're being represented as someone here who's very powerful, someone who's very stable, um, who really has a good head on their shoulders right now and you feel very focused. Something in you is very driven right now. And it's, it's, it's a journey, it's a process, and you understand that, which is good. You know, over, over time, you have discovered that, you know, things take time. You know, healing takes time. Um, getting to where you want to be takes time. And there's this energy of you wanting to level up in a way where either you're looking for better opportunities in your career, um, looking for ways to educate yourself, looking for ways to invest. Some of you may be very interested in investing, but I get this sense that you're super focused on investing in your future um, and also investing in your financial stability. Finances seem to be very, very important to you right now, Taurus. Um, and love as well just seems, it almost seems like bad timing you know, for this offer, whether this is someone new that you may be meeting, someone that you've already known, that maybe, you know, you guys never really got to connect on a romantic level, but now the opportunity is kind of presenting itself. But for you, it just seems like you're just curious as to why it's happening now. You know, once, as I said, some of you may have turned your back on love, not in a, in a spiteful way, but more in, you know what, I'm going to put love and relationships on the back burner and really focus on something that I want to achieve. And once you do that, it's almost like, <laughs> you know, maybe in the past you were calling for love and it never sh came. And then when you gave up trying to manifest that, it just sort of happened for you. So that's the energy that I'm getting for you, Taurus. Very interesting month. Um, I like that the Ace of Cups and the Lovers is here because this person could definitely be um, fated for you. This person is likely someone you were meant to meet at a very specific time in your life. Um, and I wonder for some of you if this is a test, you know, because you're going to need a lot of strength in the month of May to really be secure in your decision making here. Let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to use the, the mini version of the Rider weight Tarot. And I'm going to clarify the lovers and see... You know, what is this connection that's coming in for you? For some of you, I did uh, hear water sign, possibly Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as a fire sign very strongly here. So universe, what can you tell me about this lover's energy coming in for Taurus in the month of May? Okay, and then you have, again, yourself, the king of pentacles. Could for some of you be another earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person can also be very uh, financially stable as well, or someone that you meet possibly at your job. Okay, now, oops, if I can pick this card up. <laughs> now you have also the Hermit here. So you have King of Pentacles and the Hermit. And the Hermit, again, is representative of an Earth sign. Again, could be Virgo. Um, as I said before, this, this energy of, of love and connection comes out of nowhere, possibly. This person could have been watching you for a while. Um, I was getting the sense that this person might have been a friend of yours, someone who started off as a friend, um, but they did have feelings for you, but maybe they were too shy um, to tell you this, Taurus. 
And it's, it's, it's a very funny feeling because when they do express how they feel for you, <laughs> this card I keep coming back to, it's like, you're looking at them like, huh, what, you have feelings for me, uh, you know, or maybe this is someone who you haven't been speaking to for a while, but they've been kind of watching you or still hoping that they would get a chance to, to reconcile with you or, or to offer you love. Okay, so this, a lot of you, this is, you know, I'm getting secret admirer vibes for some of you, um, could be a co-worker, um, this person could also be a friend of yours that's been around you, but you never really saw them as a romantic option. Um, and then for others of you, this is someone from your past trying to, to come around. Let's look at the Ace of Cups here. Tell me more about this offer, universe, tell me about this offer here. Ace of Swords, yes, someone wants to communicate with you. They want to talk to you or um, offer you this new beginning. Um, you may be getting a, a message, possibly. This may come to you as like a text message. Um, tell me more about this offer. But someone definitely wants to communicate how they feel or will be communicating how they feel about you. And then you have the Queen of Cups. So this is someone who does have romantic feelings for you, Taurus. Um, again, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be uh, a fire sign. Uh, the two of pentacles just came out. So you're going to kind of have um, this energy of, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to pursue this. I'm, I'm kind of already set on doing something else. So you have some decisions to make here, Taurus, definitely. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull three cards of advice and I'm going to be using um, a very special deck that was sent to me. It's called the Native Spirit Tarot. And I'm going to use this deck here to pull out three cards of advice for you, Taurus. What does universe want you to hear or to know? And these cards are new, so they're a little <laughs> hard to shuffle. But what does universe want you to hear? or no in the month of May that will be helpful to you. What will be helpful to Taurus in the month of May? Universe, we have one coming out here. Wow, and you have the two of cups. So again, universe is telling you that a connection is coming into your life, Taurus. Um, <laughs> you know, this could be something maybe you manifested in the past, but you gave up on. Um, it could be a new opportunity. Either way, this is coming into your life. A connection, a love connection is coming into your life in the month of May. Okay, and this may be the one. Okay, you have a lot of cards falling out here. Let's look at them. You have the Emperor, the energy of Aries, the Hierophant again, twice, and then you have the Ten of Cups. So there is this energy, you know, this person who's coming into your life, they're definitely giving me boss vibes. <laughs> you know, it could be your boss. I don't know. But this is definitely a, a, someone who may be a little older, someone who's very established in their career. Um, you know, they're, they're someone who is respected, is what I get. You know, this person is respected in either his career field, um, by his peers, his friends. Um... It almost seems like this is the person of, I don't want to say the person of your dreams, but if you could, you know, manifest a partner, this is the kind of partner you would want. Someone who's very stable, someone who um, is a leader, someone who is, is wise and smart and, you know, wants to have this happy ending kind of thing, you know. A lot of you may be wanting this Ten of Cups, but I feel like this person coming in for you, this may be an opportunity for you to achieve that emotional satisfaction that you've been wanting in a relationship, okay? So I really feel like the universe is, is telling many of you that this person, you know, this connection, it may, it's very small right now. It may seem like, oh, you know, this is not going to lead me to where I want, but I feel as if you may want to try and trust the process for some of you. Again, make your own decisions. This won't apply to everyone, but this connection that's coming in for you could very well lead to a kind of 10 of cups scenario where, you know, everything you've asked for in the past is finally coming for you. So 
for some of you, very good birthday present. <laughs> All right, Taurus, so that's going to be your reading. Um, again, have a great birthday um, season and month, and uh, definitely hit the like button. Let me know that you guys are here, and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.